Welcome back, everybody, to Spirit Place. More Spiral Knights. Now, I think, uh, I don't know if it was Tab or uh, somebody asked, like, what keeps me coming back to this game specifically? I don't know if it was you, man, or if you even watch these. Um, but, like, honestly, the ambiance here, first off, my gunner hat. Wait a second, that's a black screen. <laughs> Boom. There we go, professional cameraman here. I mean, look at him. It's like it's like staring at it, roughly the same picture you just saw. It's 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 pretty cool, except without the pipe because I don't smoke. Cause I found out last year I have asthma. But we, we anyway, um, just the general aesthetic here. I don't know if you've been, you can hear the the sound of the background and the, the nice atmosphere. Um, you know, it's, it's the, the, honestly the soundtrack. The the graphics are kind of secondary, right? We play some pixelated games here and there. I would say, especially since, like, uh, we're going down a game, but uh, the, like, the Final Fantasy VI was a big one for me for the music makes a game. It really does. Like, the music, if the music is good, the sound is just, it's actually my biggest problem with, like, Agalos when that game happened, or when that game was, and I invested myself into it. It was like, I, I would I would really love the game, but there's no option in that game to turn off the music. You have to play with the music, and that's okay. But like it's it's eight bit, it's good job, it's 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 just not I don't know. It's uh, it's in, it's interesting. I'd rather not play with that if I could help it. I'd rather just uh, is it switch here? I forget. No, it's uh, here we go. I'd rather just you know have my fun and uh play with some I don't know tool remixers. Ah, they got me. Where I got them. We got hit twice already. <laughs> why were you bad at games like Risk of Brain and Catacomb Kids? So here's why. We're just, we're just so used to just being able to hit everything. And it doesn't matter. We don't have to face the consequences of our actions. We just, yeah, you hit me, whatever. I'm, uh, I'm Wolverine. Uh, I can just uh, absorb everything. The thing about Wolverine is, you know, first off, he's a fictional character in Mutants. Um, secondly, he's a very angry person. It's, 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 I can understand, because he has that, you know, the victim narrative, just like every other superhuman power person that has that victim narrative, but, I mean, you have to, to make your life seem like, oh, it's a struggle. It's horrible to be me. Okay, we do have it. Is it really horrible to be Wolverine, though? Did he really take full advantage of his life skills? Is it, is his skill set, Logan? And though the character, Hugh Jackman did roughly portray him. Did he really understand what it was like to be an angry t tiny man? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's just me. I don't think so. Boom. And that's why we do this combo. Because <laughs> on floor one, we could just one-shot everything. We're talking about, like, speeding through the game. Here you go. Just kind of set myself up to get hit there, but that's okay. And uh, if we're talking specifics, one brought me back to this game. Keeps bringing me back. I mean, here it is. It's the, the green levels, man. Legend of Zelda right here. A Link to the Past classic. I really wish they would have kept on with that kind of genre. Now I think in, uh, what do they have in, in um, the Switch? Uh, Cadence to Hyrule, right? Where you, it's like a, you gotta hit the right buttons in the right order to do the right things, or you can only hit buttons on the beat. I'm not sure exactly how that game works. I haven't really looked into it. But it's like, what, you don't can't just run around with a sword and hit things whenever? I mean, that's kind of weird. You have to do it on, like, one leg and only hit a button at a certain time. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's a, it is a thing. Just, you know, I just kind of miss the, the classic Zelda, that's all. I just sucked him in. It's the second time that hit me. So we just got to maybe, maybe be a little bit smarter with the, the Graviton. It's like the Cuban Risk of Rain. Just got to be a little smarter with it, that's all. Since we have no, it is open, right? Since we have no public party, I'm not really going to open that. I kind of open that for everybody I'm with. By the way, if you were watching this newer Spinal Knights player, why aren't you opening that for your other people? It's three energy. If you uh, play the game as often as I do, which is maybe once every other day, three energy is like a pittance. Right? I think. If you can afford weapon slots and everything else, it should be a pittance. If you're one of the dancers in Haven, you'd rather have other 
other players play for you. Like myself. <laughs> that, ah. Uh... Oh, come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's Malabulu. <laughs> Welcome back. Definitely more of a dapper person than I am. Wait, is that a Dark Fang shield? I must know. It is a Dark Fang shield. This character is just beautiful. This is not a character that sits in Haven, ladies and gentlemen. Because they are here. We'll just rock out our, our glowing sword. I do miss the Triglav. Only because of, uh... Besides it being one of the worst weapon designs in history... Um... It's blue. And it went with, uh... My old character, Blue Flood. <sighs> no stream. Alright, I gotta explain things. At least still further notice. So by the time I think this is I'm gonna pop this out Sundays. But uh, in place there will be I think at least two half hour videos going on then. I think. Four videos a day was a bit much though. Uh, considering everything else like I overclock myself sometimes and you know if I haven't said it before. <laughs> I, I can't, I've, so, when you're a, a person of character you tend to repeat yourself. Just something I do quite often. Um, so stop, like stop even. You heard this one, right? But my wife will look at me and be like, "Yo, go lay down. You're you're exhausted. You need to sleep." Because I'll be start to be curt with everybody. Something about pain. Pain. Nobody wants pain, but everybody. But when you have it, you want to focus on it, as if everything else is a distraction except the pain itself. When the reality obviously is true, you want to get away from the pain and focus on life itself. But you can't. But you can't. Because you're drawn into this flesh, this reality. This is one of the things you can't get, get away from when it comes to like absolute truth. You can deal with things all in abstract. You can deal with things and say it's not really there. It doesn't really concern me. It's over in New York. They're just peacefully pro the skip, peacefully protesting. I mean, it's rioting no matter how you look at it. That's only if you you violate the definition of protesting. That's how you get rioting. KIP, thank you. Welcome, welcome to the Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man leaves. Please click the button, I swear. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, okay, I'm a little offended. My bomb didn't go drop down. Because my reality said otherwise. Baboo. Come on, man. Oh, he's got an Akron. She's got an Akron. The assumed gender character has an Akron. Like, how you looking there, buddy? You have the best sword in the world. Shield's pretty good, too. Gotcha. Crap. So good. Can't do it. You're a defender elite. It's alright, man. Got two veterans here, especially Malibu. They brought a blitz. Gun to a knife fight? Well, if the knife does more damage, it can one-shot you. And the gun has to, like, 30-shot you. In that reality, I don't know what's better. Would you, would you rather maintain a distance? I guess, I mean, this is technically that reality. Da -da -da. Boom. How... How disciplined do you have to be as a character, as a gremlin, to tell yourself, when I die, I'm gonna do a backflip. I'm gonna practice for my entire life so that when I feel the life force ebbing from my chest, it's time to do a backflip. Because then you're not scared if you if you hit the landing or not. Who's gonna care? Not us. We've seen it before. <laughs> it's nothing special. Who are you gonna impress? I don't know, everybody's got different life goals, I guess. <laughs> When I go out, that's how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna walk around for a minute. This guy's got the single switching stuff. Oh my gosh. This advanced play is so good. <gasps> blah blah. 
kind of sneezed in that same fashion. You should see the cat. I've had so many scars on my legs from my cat propelling himself off my leg because I sneezed. I mean, you heard my nose the one day, I think, on a cat come kids episode. Or they may, might have been on a stream, I forget. Like, <laughs> the windows rattle. I've had my wife for the first time. First couple times she heard me. Some, sometimes it's sometimes worse than others. Like, I have an inside voice when it comes to... Where did my bomb go? Come on. When it comes to, uh... Like, trying to talk and projectile myself, my voice so, so I can be heard. But when I sneeze, like you can hear it downtown. There's no hiding. I, I watched Mission Impossible 2. The guy sends off a, uh, a slight noise sensor from his sneeze. Not me, man. I would, uh, I would probably break. Like, they would just be like, just come in and sneeze. And that way everything just breaks and we can, uh, we can go from there. Good job with the, <laughs> the triglav charge. Can I be trusted to take these guys out? Come on. There we go. No, we don't want to do it. Jeez. You know what? Since we're going in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got we got pills. Alright, I got I got nothing. <laughs> Thank goodness for emergency revives. And I think my uh, my oldest daughter's kinda kinda driving off that. Unfortunately she like she forces it. She when it was when she was four it was cute, but now she's getting a little older, so her lungs are kinda developing, right? So she sneezes like purposely saying Chew Like Pikachu, right? And we, we we smile, it's cute. Now it's getting really absurdly loud, and I think she got her dad sneezes, so I mean, heaven forbid we both sneeze at the same time. We cause uh atoms to collide and the world to half collapse. So we we've gotta be careful with this stuff. Father daughter power combined. Who knows how far that'll go? You've seen her strength at Slime Rancher. She's only eight. I'm not talking about the last uh, last video. She's three. She's 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 <laughs> unless she's a highly underdeveloped eight year old. But I mean that that is the case sometimes. Just not this this case. I'm very thankful for the uh, the skill level that my my kids have. My my eight year old is very creative. She's making like different doll toys and everything. It's kind of neat. Uh, I deserve that. I deserve it. <sighs> Blah, blah. It did damage. Okay, okay. Let's. I can't do that because we're poison. Don't worry, man. I got this. Babu. Okay, okay, okay. Our boy Chris Strife, the best hat in the game, has arrived. Let me help you out, guys. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Minor hits for major accomplishments. That's how that works. Okay. Fortune, this little freaking tiny badger ninjas drop. Nah, okay, fine. The badger ninjas drop. Nothing is what I was trying to say. Man, they're all feasting upon his corpse. Oh, it is Chris. He's joined us. I'm coming, man. Blah, blah. I'm trying to help my buddy out. Uh, don't worry. Under control. Put down a uh, mobile vacuum. Freaking love grab Tom Bomb, man. See you later, buddy. Where is Chris? Chris cares not. Chris goes in. This is what Chris does. So Chris takes care of business. Like myself, I'm like, hey, I can use guns. So by all means, let me just bring the sword to combat. Anybody? Hello? Anybody want to get on here at the same time? Thank you. <laughs> blah, blah. I just see somebody frozen, so we're going over here. Anybody else? Jump into the party. Jump into the purple pool. It's not been chlorinated. Speaking of chlorine, man, there is a oh cool arena. There is a uh, and my my martial martial arts instructor told me about this. There's a, a actually an item invented, but unfortunately because it kind of goes against the the popular paradigm, like you gotta douse your pool with chemicals for 
nobody to survive, not even the kids. It's bad for the eyes and everything. There's a, it, there's this like little thing he puts in his pool that literally goes around, shocks the water, kills everything in there more so than just as much as the chemicals. And it kind of filters the water too, prevents mold from growing on there too. It doesn't leave like the, the the electrical shock doesn't even pass through your skin. You don't even feel it. Way healthier. But because we live in this world that we live in. What are you doing, Chris? Because we live in this world that we live in. You know. Whatever the mass uh the masses say usually we kinda go. So I mean douse your your douse your pool and chemicals. He changed outfits on me. I no longer know who you are. <laughs> Just an angry cowboy, I guess. What am I? An unrealistic cowboy? Because I look, I believe in the positivity. But he brought bombs. Everyone's showing off their stuff. Jump in, I dare you. There's nobody there. <laughs> I invited 30 pizzas and nobody showed up? Come on, man. Just all right, fine. We don't have time for our Graviton Bomb to work, so we're just going to use the good old mountain, throw enough meteors at combat, and eventually something will hit somebody. I mean, they can only go so many places. They yeah, finally did damage, I think. So I guess to be more specific, this, uh, this, this teamwork stuff right here, which I love. I know everyone, it's, it's at least at this time of day, it's hard to uh, find uh, you know, someone who's just starting out in the game. I saw someone do a uh, relook at Spiral Knights. I do go on and watch other videos. I think it's just, I think it's important because otherwise you lose touch of what's you know what actually matters. Uh, but he did a let's look at. It. He's like, I wonder if this game's worth playing again. I'm like, it's a fair, it's a fair assessment. He's like, the uh, well, let me just do this. Alright, he's gone. He was cursed and destroyed. The uh, I forgot about the rescue camp. That is the thing. It's like this used to be bustling with people. All trying to strive for goodness. And now it's just me. And I'm alone. And I'm crying. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, I can get that. It's hard for a new person to start. Especially when you get to kind of get a... Uh, like, I was not born and bred on missions. Like, click here to go next instead of decision making. The whole game initially was just in the arcade. Like, dive down. Here's a recipe. Can it make you better for diving down? The Vanna gate was random. You couldn't just click on Vanna. You'd have to go through the first depth. Yo, invite me when you get to Vanna. Like, someone would just be a mule pack horse. You'd, you'd set your alt at Basil so that everyone could just get Vanna Duke over and over again. Chris, you got the best outfits, yo. My daughter legit has a has a towel like this, like in the poncho. Except it's, you know, blue with butterflies and it has a hood. It's the most adorable thing. She'll just wear like after she goes uh, in her tiny little three year old bathing suit. She'll just uh play around it. It's, it's I don't know. Daughters melt dad's hearts, that's all I'm saying. You guys think you're doing? Yeah. Don't mess with mountains. Mountains mess mess with you. Mountains are there to climb, man. Not be climbed. There's nothing to do with what I'm doing. <laughs> I just try to hit Chris. Or I try to hit Mala. I'll just call you Mala. You do this now. That'll work, right? There should be some things in there. Dun, dun, dun. It's also a nice, uh, a nice honing spot for a blitz. Let's well pop, grab ourselves a mobile turret. There we go. I'm uh, just kidding. So I got the C.S. Lewis retreat coming up. If I've not recommended sabbatical enough, I think I did on the Risk of Rains video. But, um. Taking time to actually put some thought into your life. The average 
Last I checked, anyway, the average time a person spends thinking a day. So this is this is silent thought. This is not. Yeah, I think on my way to work in the car. Spends time in meditation or quietness where there's nothing else, no outside stimuli. It's, uh, it's like seven minutes a day. I give myself like an hour, maybe. Uh, this is no way claiming superiority. It's just it's just pointing out st statistics versus you know the world we live in. So you do that, and uh, you have you have so much so many like how 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 many how much time a day do you spend getting fed? You wake up, turn on the TV, turn on YouTube while you get ready, and it's like an efficiency thing, right? Like I'm wasting my time if there's actual silence in my life. You go to work, you're playing music. You go to uh, on your way to work. You get to work. You're constantly in communication. Uh, time for deep thought is spent when? When you're in the bathroom. No, not anymore because you're on your phone. The phone goes everywhere with you. My wife has like 30 Reader's Digest inside of our bathroom. I'm like, honey, why are those there? She says, in case somebody wants to read and they forget their phone. I'm like, I'm like yeah, exactly. No, no one's going to use those. She was, uh, so this is something you also learn in, in relationships. You, you, you try to, the assumption is you want the relationship to get better. The only way it gets better is if the other person knows what you're thinking. The only way they know what you're thinking is if you tell them. You can kind of glean some some outside influences here and there, but honestly, communication and telling the person as opposed to saying, hey, maybe they'll just guess this as if they're not having any quiet thought of their own. It's just kind of false. So anyway, she was trying to tell me not to leave the window open in the bathroom because that's where she keeps all the reader's digest. I'm like, all right, fine. I don't mind. It's a small. That's a small thing. I don't mind that one bit. Let's forget we had Mike. Sorry, Mike. We're we're neglecting you. He's like you yell at me all the time for not being effective, and then you don't tell me to do anything. I don't. I don't understand, Master. It's kind of a conflicting message. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. You got me. <laughs> Kill shot. No, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. So we can take out one in the corner. Oh, honestly, right there, I lost the other set of spikes. I'm just kind of lucky. It's okay. But uh, that kind of like light purple on whatever <laughs> brown. <laughs> Somebody get in there at the last second. Okay, we got one. Jeez. Thank you, Swift Strike, for being so resilient as a tiny little shield. Even I resort to the guns eventually. Can't get in there, man. I thought Mike was another character for a second. <laughs> Do it. We've done it. Okay. I know it's only depth 21. Oh no! The skip. Crap. That's not woke, right? F is the new RIP. It's simpler, it's a letter. He capitalized his F, so that was like extra effort. I'm forbid. Green's still my favorite color. Nothing beats the mind blowing moment in my brain. When I found out on a documentary that the sun produces green light. Absolutely mind blowing to me. I can't kick him, that'd be poor form. Just saying. <laughs> Regardless of your weapon. Do I wear this uh, all the time? No. I'm wearing it, you know, kind of cosmetically for, for, for show. It's a, it gets some conversation, too. It's uh, what's you? Oh, meow, meow. Oh, crap. Is my coffee? No, it's okay. So that's my lifeline, man. Coffee cup goes empty. I don't know what I'm gonna do. When you get to the point in character where you're not really uh, concerned that people mock you or not for the way you dress, 
first off, dress tactfully, right? If you wear a bikini to work and you're a male, you probably deserve a little bit of mockery. You, you, you know, use good taste. Be conservative. You know, God gave a uh, man clothing. Fig leaves he sewed together. Oh, no, he killed uh, the skins of animals, right? The body is sacred. It's a temple. Certain things you could talk about, certain things you probably shouldn't. Now we we uh we reach a, a point in our in our to get over there. In our in our culture where things do not become sacralized anymore, where everything is okay. There are no boundaries. Which actually go, coincides to the theory of evolution, because you know, everything's constantly changing. Never mind that there's so many things in this world that live together, are in flux. Sort of, but not really. Never mind that everything is just doesn't violate the structure as a general rule. Evolution. Like if you think about it, if you take out any kind of indoctrination anyone ha you might have, evolution does seem really silly. I, okay, this is my opinion. So, I mean, take that for what it is. Like, th things need to constantly change over the generations. What happens when a human changes in the womb? Down syndrome. Like this is, it's not a, it's not a known benefit. I know there's other, there's other examples, right? Or you can use genetic height, a couple other things as good examples. Waste it. But that's not improving from a macro sense. That's a micro sense. I think I got the two confused when I was talking about evolution before in one of the streams. Um, micro is just like, you know, your toenails get a little longer. Your, the, the melanin in your skin changes based on where you live, according to how the sun exposure hits you. White versus brown or black, or whatever you want to call it. That's science. I mean, it should be science. That's something we can actually test through the generations, right? Just look at geographically where people live. It doesn't take too long to do that. You don't see humans spawning like a different arm or a leg to see if it works and then dying off. They don't make it to full term. It's besides the fact that we're allowed to just abort every kid, therefore destroying the whole evolutionary paradigm out of our basic want and need. Just because it's the only theory that even sorta of makes sense, but not really. This is the, this is the, I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. It's the war for music, but we're fighting fiends. I love these levels. Some damage bonus, yo. There we go. There we go. You just don't see this this too often. Better be coming, Mal. I don't know what we're gonna do without you. Do this. Yes. Hard labor use that laser beam thing. And get a taste. Blah blah. Chris has the right idea, but looks like he's a better gunner than my, gunner than myself. It's too bad he can't pick this thing up and move it. I got. I mean, that was a great part about Slime Rancher. You get a you get a terminal, cost you some money, but you can just hit hit the uh, T for technical screen, pick it up, and uh, move it where you need to move it. Whoop, whoop. Let's join the Shoot Things Club. Throw Things Club, too. Just miss everybody. That's a good idea. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Kiss. Sorry, list skip. <laughs> Just think about speed reading, man. It gets you sometimes. Oh, my gosh, man. There's one ass in Chris. There's one ass in Strife. I'm here for you, buddy. If you need someone. Crap. We made it. No, oh, no, no one hit it. <laughs> Crap. I got it. Well done. It's a griever. Not as good as the Griffin, the Valance, but I mean. We're just peppered with, with seasonal veterans in this level. 
Even Mr. Kiss right here. <laughs> Let's skip. It's a warrior to be reckoned with. Defender lead with an Acheron. So here's the thing about a, a games that reach their terminal velocity, which I think I think SK has. I mean, you might get minor patches here or there. I mean, the game is freaking nine going on ten years old. It's it's hard to argue that. Uh, forgot about that. <laughs> you might want to run, buddy. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Wrap them in. Blah, blah. Freaking extermination station. Is this how they get rid of termites? This is why you pay them so much money to do it. I can see that. Really thought there was going to be a lot that just showed up. Okay, there'd be a lot to show up here. Okay. <laughs> We've done it. It's weird seeing, like... Oh no, I'm sorry Chris, not again. I've already been hit by so many of those things. Got it, we got it. No, no. Darn it, okay. You and your shenanigans. All right, let's go around and see if we can get this. Help the team out a little bit. We not we might not be the the full damage dealer of the party, or help a recon help with reconnaissance, or you know even a professional motivator. But he fell down. It happens to me. Oh no! <laughs> I tripped. I had clum I got the clumsy stat. Here we go. No 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 no! Don't be don't be too. Stingy with that stuff. Come on, man. Yeah, we, we, we're taking care of business out here. All right, let's collect our reward. <laughs> Get going. I don't think there's anything over to the left we need to possibly glean. And because this is a... Uh, I mean, this should be going coming up on a Sunday. I think. I think I'm just going to keep going. Do one more level. I used to not post anything besides the uh, the coffee streams on the Sunday. But, I mean, why not? Yeah, it keeps the channel going. Thank goodness another gel drop. I was waiting for that all day. Dad walk. What is that? I have so many, like, different sources, captions on OBS. It's ridiculous. The customization on this thing is pretty cool. Uh, but again, again, with uh, how finicky it is. Can we... Is energy really that low? I don't think it is. It's so close, man. 50 more crowns. <laughs> Team Fortress 2? Let's go, boys. Get psyched. Still have not yet gotten the chance to, uh, do one of the shadow layers since the update. How long has it been since that update? Months? It's like half a year? I don't even know. Just a little coffee break on the way down. Dude, those wings are hella cool. A little jealous. I did have some fire wings. I don't even know if this outfit can have, have wings. Aura? I'm not sure. If it could, I might wear them. As of now, I don't know. As of now... Crap. <laughs> Forgot that's how this level worked. That was my impression of Joe Biden. But Re replace the word level with election, and there you go. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Kamala Harris, out of all people to choose, what a tool. She claimed him of being, like, sexist and racist and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm like, just kidding. You're my favorite person. Be my number two. Like, if there's anything that's a political move right there just to get votes as opposed to actual integrity, there it is. 
You want to know why we got Donald Trump? Because of crap like that. They fight and bicker and are bitter. And then, then they go... The, well, I mean, well, I guess it's kind of in response to losing the, the female black police chief in Seattle. Well, we, we need another one back. Except she was a horrible prosecutor, I believe. Kamala Harris. I'm, I think I'm getting my, my profiles correct. I forget some things, but some other things I don't forget. It's not too often. Ah! Spine has been snapped. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many more of those can we get hit by? Chris, let me know. <sighs> okay. Feel better. Boom. Oh! Switched it up. Didn't see that coming. I can tell. Well, it's good that the, the built-in AI is not all about just like, I see, it's the last one, of course. I see you, I run at you. There's a lot of games like that. I mean, all besides like skeletons and stuff like that, maybe that's why people like playing Bane and Duke so much. I don't know. Oh, God, we lost him. Guess where's your hat? Sorry if I'm assuming your uh, your spelling of your name. This is where logical consistency comes into place. Are you assuming the letters in my name? Well, yeah, you can see him. Ah, huh. I draw my S's like K's. It's your fault for not knowing my absolute logic. Boom. Relativism. <laughs> no, that's a, that was that was Nietzsche's big thing too. Uh, again, as a so, so uh, let me back up two steps. One, if you uh, if you really know something, you know you you, you 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 know you know something if you could teach it to somebody else because you have that kind of confidence skill level. Uh, then I forget what the other one was because I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> what was I talking about? Crap! I hit that stuff. <laughs> uh. Come on, brain. Retrace your level of thought. Okay, anyway, let's just move on. It's embarrassing to acknowledge your, your, your uh, cognitive decline. It's not decline. I just had like for literally four topics in my head, and I, don't, I write stuff down at work. So, I, I mean, I know myself. I don't have a pen and paper here. I guess I could etch it into the ground. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to repeat... Uh, uh, sayings of Nietzsche. I haven't read Nietzsche in a while, dude. Every every time I think about it, I'm like, I should reread him just to make sure. Yeah, things fade over time, and I'm not a scholar in the, in the Nietzschean philosophy of atheism, but I mean, the, the whole nihilistic concept, but I mean, it is the uh, natural, ah, uh, natural outworking of atheism. It's nihilistic. Um, anyway, Straw Dogs, very good, very good read by uh, um, Jonathan Gray. Recommended for, for those secularist atheists out there or those looking from an honest perspective from an atheist or secularist um, If there is no God the natural African that book's pretty good same with Nietzsche, but he, oh no, don't don't pop your map up, buddy the Thing about Nietzsche is he uh, he's very honest with the natural natural conclusion of his philosophy He's like I can't even logically justify why language makes sense ah Oh, that was him, Nuke. Good. <laughs> it's not me. But even I am subject to its whims. So he's saying, like, even 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 though you can't rationally justify the stuff, you still have to take some stuff based on faith. You still have to play by the rules to get your point across. Communication outside of reason makes no sense. You have to use reason. Why would you trust reason? Why would you uh, trust gravity to always go down every day? Uh, by the best evidence we have, it's never altered us yet, right? Anyway, why do we never fall off the, the clockworks? Why is why are we held on by like perpetual gravity and we just never fall to earth? The first words my, my three-year-old said when she saw this game and she could actually like conceptualize a thought was, Daddy, don't fall down. And I'm like, okay. I can I can do that. I can 
so I can stay on the level. They, well, it turns out the game doesn't let you fall. It's kind of nice. Yeah, logical consist consistency is good. Which is kind of ironic because hypocrisy is the uh, the naturally unforgiving sin of this generation. You can call anything out you want to on Twitter. That guy's just booking it. He cares not. He's going for the better kills. I'm going for the simple ones. Cha, cha. My professional swordsman skills. It's the popo. -po. Chris, your one man wrecking machine. I was always thinking about um you know the four four v one challenge. I see I saw some of these these things in a um, it's called Risk of Rain, where you, you can mod the you can mod the game a lot. In a lot of things, obviously. Even Spiral Knights. Some people have uh, different sound cosmetics, which is, which is kind of funny. I say cosmetic because it just adds different. You, the, the whole game feels the way it does, I think, because of the music. So even though it is sound, audio cosmetic is usually associated with visual. I, I would stand by that. It just makes the whole game kind of change. Um, but the, you can mod different things. So this one guy in Risk of Rain 2 modded the game so that it's like there's four people there, but it's just him. As commando and he beat one level <laughs> like he was all proud of himself you know what i would have been too i can't even be one level in regular mode don't watch the last stream let's see because it verifies this let's go boys we got this so many alchemers i love it allow me to move him out of your firing path along with him Gotcha. I'm not even bothering with the Graviton Bomb. These guys are... The, the people in my party are so amazing. See that? A mountain just fell on you. Twice. That is an actual story in the Quran, by the way. That the, uh... That God killed the chosen children of Israel twice. And then brought them back to life. Is it in the Quran? Is it in the Quran or one of the ideas? I'm sorry I get them confused. Um, it's just been a while since my Islam, like I studied Islam, like to to the core. It's only about it, maybe. I don't even know how to measure study when I just read book after book on the topic. Like I've studied it for twenty years. I mean, I don't know, like how consistent are we in our study? Are you constantly running papers? Are you talking with scholars? Are you dialoguing? Like what? What exactly? Help me out. Study is one thing, um, but actually, what that study is, is is totally another. You just you just live in Iran. Anyway, so I, took, I put about, I would say about a year of focused time where I was studying Islam. Um, cause truth is important, right? We got people here. Let's go. But uh, that's one of the stories is the, the way that the children of Israel repented to the monotheistic God. Is uh, he, they were, uh, once Moses took them out, he, uh, he literally killed them all twice, brought them back to life twice. And then they finally repented. I forget what they were repenting of. I really do. When they, he threatened, he picked up the whole mountain at Mount Sinai and threatened to drop it on them. And you're like, so they didn't care about dying and coming back to life, but a mountain is scarier than that? I don't know, man. Okay, what am I, what am I doing? We, <sighs> we didn't do anything. Jeez, <laughs> they're over there now. Let's go, Chris. We need your uncanny marksmanship. We did do damage. I feel like I've accomplished something. Maybe we could take this one guy out. <gasps> <Not the. laughs> Just swing my sword in the air. Is this how Cloud feels when he misses? Man. Dude, I want to play Final Fantasy VII so bad. That game is such... Speaking of nostalgia and things that keep you playing, I mean, that game's amazing. You can only match what the new graphics and stuff look like on there. I mean, if you look at the original polygonical... Polygonical's a word, right? But the whole uh, polygons and everything, 
at the time, it was revolutionary. You know, I, I was uh, brought up in a generation of uh, Nintendo and Atari. I saw them all. Snake on your phone was the only game, and that was fun. And then I, we, we challenged each other on our Nokia phones. Switch any time, boys. You can excuse the noise, but we're doing it. And it would be amazing. I got like a 300-something score. I spent so many hours on that. It was awesome. Alchemer party. Oops. Please excuse the... Uh... He said it's not too loud. Let's go with this kid. Be my friend. Boom. You're already my friend. You're the friendliest friend. This guy's all shadow stuff. Oh, hey man, maybe you're heating it. I have no idea. We gotcha. More Popo Laris, Mr. Mala. Come on. Oh, it's hammer time. Does anybody ever does anybody even get that joke anymore? <laughs> He sells insurance commercials. At least he did like 10 years ago. What's he doing now? What do you think MC Hammer is doing during COVID? What would he do? What would he actually do with himself? I'm messing up my, my draw. Come on, buddy. Don't worry, Chris. I got you. <laughs> with our feigned superiority in some form or another. We're now friends with our boy or girl, Chris. I mean, Kiss. Liss. Gosh. Dude, I'm never going to get... He's just Kiss. What does Kiss stand for? I don't know if you remember the, the ancient rock band, which is just like eons ago now. It was classic rock, and that was a, there was a time when... I don't know, by definition, rock that is classic. We can, we can dissect those words, right? Because that's what we do in like the Greek to, to get like actual meaning and then you get abstract meaning that's derived from the actual meaning so where you get a i mean this is how language sort of develops over time if you look at the evolution i'm not a linguistist linguistist linguistic uh evolutionist <laughs> jeez but when we look at how like the english language developed it wasn't originally hardcore so you see where words came from uh Help you, buddy. Oh, no. Okay, good. We're not cursed. Look where words came from the original Latin and that kind of thing. Oh, uh, you can just stop getting it any time. That'd be kind of nice. The um, homo sapien human being, you know. You, but we just say homo sapien, and you know what it is. There's, a, there's kind of like a direct link between the two. Really like these levels, by the way. The ones where the uh, the, you're you're kind of being hunted by uh, immortal undead creatures. I much prefer the the candlelight areas, but these are these are fine too. Candlelight areas have the giant cats. I mean, it's the same kind of theme, right? Took me a minute to connect those dots too. So we should go this way. Okay, I'll open up the path for you, buddy. Jeez, used to be a lot better at that. I thought somebody sparked there for a second. I'll try. One of us will get it. We'll get that damage bonus, son. Okay, we got it. I think someone had to walk into it that wasn't just on it. Or maybe get lit on fire. I'm not sure. Let's go in. Let's, uh, let's actually do this. Orbitals are so good. I mean, they could have gone a lot of directions with the orbital concept, too. Blocking bullets, you know, adding a little bit of just damage resistance. Well, we have that, never mind. Healing aura. The penny was worth it. We had to walk the whole way over there. You see that? I had to hold down the D key for an extra two seconds. I mean, that's that is that is the definition of work. Please let me in. We have the Popo Laris helping us out. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's the bad guys. 
Speaking of sequels and duos that are awesome, I'm talking about the Lego movie. If you've not seen the first one, I recommend it. It's kind of like mandatory positive mojo movie. You don't have to be... In cor- I mean, you don't have to abide by quarantine rules to make that movie. You could just computer animate it so they can make another Lego movie and I would not be upset. I'd actually be quite happy. The last one dealt with time travel. Which was really neat. But, uh, the Lego Batman, also good. The, the movies are so silly, dude. And you think they're kind of like, eh, not worth my time. Not really. Even as an adult, without kids, you can get t- like a complete wholesome enjoyment out of that film. You don't always have to be about the sensual and the tempting and the eye candy and you know, desacralization and politics and world. It doesn't have to be about all that crap. Just go to a movie and watch it. This one of the issues. Here's my here's my older man rant. I'm sure it'll get better over time. One of the issues is can you can you sit there and and start with a sense of appreciation? Don't start with a sense of criticism. Your starting point is vital. I mean, this is a in the, like the deistic versus atheistic if you start with a point of deism or at least the theism or mono, whatever kind of you know you start with a sense of being created like you you didn't deserve it but you got it so you start with a sense of thankfulness in that aspect you got ninjas Acha, acha. life goes pretty well you start with that sense of thankfulness you start with a sense of like what can I take and make mine? How can I make the world a better place for me? Well, I mean, that's kind of... That's how, that's how you get this sense of, like, every, the world is unfair to me because I deserve more. That's actually like a, spy, a spoiled child mentality. What happens if you actually get everything you want? Well, I mean, you become that spoiled child. Affluence. When I saw in the newspaper the story of a child, and this is probably like seven or eight years ago, who hit somebody purposely while drunk at the age of 15 driving a car and he was not sentenced very he's a community service he hit them and killed him i believe he was sentenced to community service and diagnosed with affluence how the living crap do you diagnose somebody with something and not hold them accountable to their actions that just blew my mind and it's not it's not his fault he you know killed somebody with a car at age 15 it's his upbringing let's just he doesn't have to do anything like Come on, there's got to be cons even at that age usually se- age seven is considered like the age of reason where you can you know take a rational thought based on your experience might not be high but you can you kind of take what's etched in your mind what's taught to you by your parents hopefully if you have them and make a sound judgment choice based on that you know don't the car's going fast i probably shouldn't step in front of it you know, you know what i mean but to have that happen just blows the mind away that that would be a thing in our courts, and, so, and now you can look, you can read stories about like child molesters be, be be given lenient penalties. I don't even know what to get here. I guess just you won't no, get out of here. Except we want actually that's perfect. I forgot we updated that. Let's go, boys. Not even sure which one this is, but we'll be fine. Okay, it is uh the best one ever. Scarabs. Give me that hot, sweet damage bonus, son. That's what I'm talking about. Not the damage. I don't need that. I just need the damage bonus. There we go. <laughs> Making jokes on my own accord. And my voice is starting to give out because I'm drinking nothing but coffee for the past, like, three hours of my life. I'm sure that's good for me. It's only sips. Don't think I'm just constantly, you know, feel like I got a string of IV or an IV of coffee inside of me, though. That'd be kind of interesting. If you guys, some of you guys have a tolerance to alcohol? No idea. No idea. Gotcha. Thought those were going to be a bunch of undead. I was mistaken. Nobody? They, they completely avoided the giant fireball in the center of the room. Oh my gosh, dude. That's where things get confusing real quick. Okay, okay, okay. Divert, redirect. We lost one. Kiss is down. I'm 
Guys, if you're in a major uh, fight for your lives and then stop to check your phone, that's how that looks. <laughs> Why would you do that? Freaking killer. You ever see The Mummy Returns? You see what scarabs do to people? What's wrong with you? Probably should have taken another shield, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Freaking Chris with the ninja magic single switching. Just be on me with this ball mouse. I use a, it for those of you that watch me play for a while. I don't know if you're aware of it. I've been using a ball mouse since Quick 3 came out. I think Quick 3 came out in 1994. Now I'm going to look at this. Hold on. We'll get to a safe spot because I don't trust those freaking scarabs. When did Quick 3 come out? 1999. Never mind. I was completely wrong. Off by five years. Oh. It's grave time. <laughs> gotcha. Boom. Albion Online. It's a new one. I love... Uh, beautiful thing about having friends with similar game interests. And you probably... I mean, I've seen some of you guys be like, Yo, I got Risk of Brain. Right after I started playing it. And I'm not ever taking credit for that. I will take credit for... Um... Liking a game. I don't know. <laughs> I'll take credit for enjoying it. I don't I don't even know. I don't, I don't really take credit for it. I do like... A, again, the whole point of the channel is just like... I like promoting things that I think are interesting. And talking about truth. And, you know, this is enjoyable in an absolute sense. If you don't like it, that's cool. That's your taste. But like, I mean... Arguably, this is probably one of the better games that's ever been played before. Risk of Rain 2. I think so. And then you go on Reddit, which... Reddit's an interesting echo chamber. I don't understand it. 99% of the comments are like, I don't understand how you guys like this compared to the first one. It's so boring. The enemies are boring. Everything's boring. You're boring. Your mom's boring. Like, oh my god, dude. Start with a sense of appreciation, man. Come on. It's not that tough to like things. Appreciate things. A sense of appreciation does amazing things for you for a world view for your life in general appreciate the fact that you have four limbs like once in your lifetime instead of being like man i wish there was another zero at the end of my paycheck you spend all this time focusing on money and what you don't have you, you kind of forget what you do switch your mind up yo start with the appreciation sense start getting that stop getting yourself on all that negativity There we go. The winter grave destroys frozen allies. At least the frozen part. The allies it kind of leaves okay. Thank goodness we got a payout. Death 27 of two chests. Yeah, Grey Havens, I don't know if you guys watch this, but come on. <laughs> you, you call that an accelerated payout? I, I might disagree. This does remind me of the. Uh, the ice levels in the Legend of Zelda a little bit. Boom. Careful, careful. Boom. Boom is silent. Study linguistics. Boom lingu linguistics. Right, we probably should use this here. Uh. <laughs> Boom. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Be uh. Okay, beautiful. I stand by the beautiful. Well, Gremlin might not. It's alright. That's his choice. We have different sense of what beauty is. There can be beauty in destruction. Namely his, as long as he's not hitting me with those little like wands. I disagree with child labor, but when it comes down to it, if it's between me and my friend's not having a friend, or uh, being killed by a toddler with two little glowing rods, stop beating up my friend, please. I'm going to probably opt with a... Uh, sorry you have that sword in your hand. <laughs> it's one of the ways, like, in, uh, I don't know, changing topics a lot, right? But in Africa, when they have, uh, you know, child warriors, it's... it's Didn't even see it. It's, 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 it's a tough sell, dude. <laughs> How do you fight a child with a gun? Like, no one wants to think about this. So again, starting with a sense of appreciation. When's the last time you had to worry about someone coming in with a... Oh, sorry. A group of people approaching your house 
with an auto, if you're watching this, right, a question you should think about, was the last time you have to worry about a group of people approaching your house with automatic weapons and just killing you and raping your family? Like, that doesn't happen. <laughs> we live in first world countries. And then riots happen, and we want to devolve ourselves back into that stuff, defund the police. We're like, what the living crap? Where are we going? And there, there's, there's my dad tirade. Econ Zone Depth 28, sign me up. Let's go, little kiss. You are now a little kiss. Kind of reminds me of Skippy from uh, Star Fox. Slippy. Slippy. Crap. Who was the frog in Star Strat? Star Fox. Slippy, that's it. My brain works eventually. My nose also sort of works. Mala had to look pretty for this one. <laughs> he looks good. He looks he looks golden. He looks beautiful. Don't mind me. Just gonna enjoy my big boom firing into nothing. Okay, we had something. We've contributed to the force. Everyone else is actually fighting guys. I'm just gonna shoot the stagnant down over the shield. We've done it. Like how many myriads of games? Well, I mean, one of the things I'm uh, I'm looking to do is uh, checking out all the free games. It's not gonna be necessarily a free game channel. Obviously, we we have a lot of games that we purchased here, or at least pop money into. This one included. And you, I mean, just by definition, if you pop, pop time into a game, I mean, time is is kind of like an extension of yourself. If you have a limited commodity that no one can really take from you, you can only give it. Well, you can argue that one, right? It, it's got to be time. This is why, like, if you try to deny people um, their stuff. And the whole sense of socialism, where, and again, the social the reason socialism is immoral is because your stuff is is an extension of your time. If anything, you have a, of a limited commodity that is your very life force, it would be time by definition. So taking your time and giving it to somebody else is, in a sense, immoral. You're basically siphoning life force and life effort from somebody else. So I mean, what did he uh, say in Ecclesiastes? It is. The only thing I can see that is good for man is to eat, drink, and enjoy his labor. It's so good, dude. Now, how you do that, and where you start and go from from that. Now, that's 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 the journey we all take. Sense of it. Don't do it. Don't you come over here. Uh, that's a good man with a key. It's got a nine inch nails. A uh, big man with a gun song stuck in my head. I am a big man, yes I am, and I got a big gun, got me a big ol- I'll let you imagine the lyrics, because they're, they're about as carnal as you might think they are. So if you don't think that way, then uh, I'll then just pretend they're happy. It was a great time to bring, put that key down. <laughs> Gotta need some positivity. Mike, step in. At least show them you're not afraid of them. Aww. Freaking ninjas. So old, this old dude. I think our entire guild commission picture that we were going to have has been uh, delayed. The gentleman, I think, just went back to school. School's start starting up for a lot of people now. I know my daughter, she's going to ride her bus for the first time into the city, so that's going to be an adventure. I mean, I, it's as careful as one can be. And uh, believe me, she, she's going to be learning less. Oh, we actually got some radiance. That's kind of nice. She's going to be learning some lessons. I know we got some radiance before. I just wasn't really paying attention. Didn't call it out at the time. But there's only so much a, uh, a nine year, or eight year old. She's going to be nine in October. Can do. You have to eventually just kind of rely on the people around her to protect her. So luckily, fortunately, all oh, so big. Size matters, yo. Luckily, when it when it uh 
comes to protection, and when it comes to uh, si school size, our governor's insane. Um, when it, uh, sorry, insane is a bad word, right? If you, if you, just because you have a different mindset on how things should be handled, doesn't mean you're insane. You can suppress and ignore evidence and still call yourself sane based on those parameters. Uh, but, but just. So anyway, the school is small enough. I, I sent her to a private school that they don't have to uh, worry about only going to school two days a week. <laughs> Having a personal instructor showing that other people in this world care about you besides your parents. Showing that people outside of the family can be trusted. Yeah, baby. You want you to do some dreams and nightmares with me? And then to watch me fight the last arena? I bet you do. I bet you do. Done it. Made it to the end. Let's see what we got, yo. Kiss might be a little delayed, but that's okay. Let's go, boys. First time, yo. You got him at Akron, so I don't think so. It's getting hot in here. Not all walls have beautiful pristine and chilly armor. This poncho I haven't taken off in like five years. Nine radiance! Oh my goodness. Did you get any radiance? Dude, Mala, I am so sorry. Got 9k, so that's like another uh, 100 energy. Which is what we're kind of going for. But anyway, I think that'll do it for this one. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll be back tomorrow. I think I got two episodes coming out. Neon Abyss is going to be I think streaming, if I'm not mistaken, and we uh, this should be post-coffee stream too, so we should have had a great run for Catacomb Kids last night anyway. I'll see you guys later, and uh, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed your weekend. Take care.